Hello everyone, I hope you're doing amazing. This isn't my typical regularly scheduled content, so if this video isn't for you, that's absolutely fine. I'll be back to my normal content next week. But anyway, I have an exciting announcement to tell you and I just wanted to pop onto YouTube just to tell you all about it. But basically, I wrote a book and it is coming out on the 16th of August. So it is a self-help book called How to Romanticize Your Life, The Ultimate Guide to Living Your Desired Reality. And let me show you the cover. This is it, except pretend this line isn't here because I don't actually have the pristine exact copy yet. I have the, um, how to describe it, the sample version. But I wanted to show you it. I wanted to make something that's very pretty and this is the back as well. You can see where I've wrote some annotations, but it is a proper full-size book and it's all about living your best life. Except when it comes to living your best life, a lot of people think about having a dream car or like buying a house, having loads of money, getting a relationship, getting married, having kids, all of that, which I guess is a part of living your best life. But my book talks about the day-to-day -day things because essentially you get married and you'll be in your honeymoon bubble, but then it's all about how you live your day-to-day -day life with your partner. So living your desired life won't exactly be having the marriage, but it's how you live your everyday to day life in your marriage, if that makes sense. So I wanted to go into details of how you can make changes in your day-to-day -day life and actually live your best life through the small things. So, you know, being in the countryside, enjoying the weather, making your favorite food, just being present in the moment. And I've incorporated a lot of techniques, which I've learned from my past of how I've learned about this. Let me read you the blurb because I think it sums it up quite well. So, in a world where routine often overshadows dreams, there lies a hidden power within us all, the power to transform our everyday existence into a captivating tapestry of love, joy and fulfillment. Welcome here to How to Romanticize Your Life, the ultimate guide to living your desired reality. Embark on a profound journey of self-discovery and learn to embrace the extraordinary within the ordinary. This book reveals the secrets to infusing passion, purpose and beauty into every facet of your life, guiding you to create a reality which mirrors your deepest desires and aspirations. For insightful guidance, practical exercises and inspirational stories, how to romanticize your life empowers you to break free from the mundane, reignite your inner spark and rediscover the awe-inspiring beauty that surrounds you. So that's pretty much a summary of my book and I'm very excited for it to be launched. You can order it on Kindle, um right now but the physical copy of the book for some reason it won't let me do a pre-order which is frustrating on amazon so that will come out on the 16th of august so make sure you write that little note in your diary or something i will probably have a video out on the day it releases as well so make sure you stay tuned i'm very excited to release this and to share the news because i've worked so hard on this i've spent years and i have been through a lot in the sense that you know I've been through some mental health problems in COVID years I guess and COVID was a part of that as well and I realized that actually from this crisis that no matter what I do like let's say if I had my dream job and like let's say if I had all the goals that I set out for myself I still wouldn't be satisfied because my day-to-day -day life I was just not happy with it and the only way I could actually be happy with my life is if I made the small changes and I learned to be happy with how my situation is right now instead of striving to get absolutely everything because then I learned the hard way that no matter what I did I just wouldn't really have the happiness that I would have wanted if that makes sense but anyway you can have a little read for yourself oh my gosh the sun's coming out I'm going to read you a little extract of my book I've just opened up a random chapter so this is called the frequency of love it is a random one so there may be some things mentioned in here that may not make sense because it's referenced earlier on in the book but let me read you the chapter it's called the frequency of love you may have heard the phrase love makes the world go round which is in fact a song by Dion Jackson it is quite literally true and let me explain how everything we have in life is to Derived from somebody's love and passion for something. Your mobile phone wouldn't have been invented if someone didn't have the love and passion for creating it. Every connection we have involves love and it's not limited to just romantic love. It can also be for family or platonic love. Leading a life filled with love can bring happiness and fulfillment. Even the choices we make can be guided by love. Naturally, when you feel love for something, you will experience a sense of well-being. 
Feeling love is accompanied by peace, joy, generosity and compassion, among other positive emotions. This is because your energy vibrates at a higher frequency, making you feel more vibrant. These elevated feelings can truly enhance your life and elevate your state of consciousness. In this state, negativity and unhealthy thought patterns diminish. You'll embrace life more fully, savouring its positive aspects and feeling a sense of wholeness. You'll frequently experience balance, fulfilment and other positive emotions creating harmony within yourself. Sometimes entering this stage requires a conscious effort and you need to practice and train yourself to feel the sensation of love in order to raise your vibration. Fortunately, it's a simple practice. The challenging part is remembering to do it, especially during difficult times. All you have to do is cultivate a feeling of love for things in life. Set the intention each day to feel love and over time it will become natural to you. There are various techniques you can incorporate into your life to help you experience the vibration of love more frequently, including gratitude, which is explored in a dedicated chapter, which is mentioned in the book previously. One approach is to seek the good in every situation. Life doesn't always go according to plan and it can bring about negative emotions. It's important to allow yourself to feel those unwanted emotions initially and find ways to release them as needed. Keeping them bottled up is unhealthy and won't benefit you in the long run. Once you've released them, you'll notice that your mind feels clearer, providing the perfect opportunity to look for the positives within a negative situation. By doing so, you'll cultivate greater optimism and a better sense of self and life in general. Living without fear becomes possible because you'll know that you have the ability to overcome any challenge, no matter how difficult it may seem. Another way to cultivate the vibration of love is by taking care of yourself. Your body is your temple and when you prioritise your well-being you naturally feel more love for life because your body feels good. Nourish yourself with foods that are beneficial to your body while also ind indulging in your favourite treats. Engaging in exercise can also boost your happiness by increasing, by increasing dopamine levels. It can be as simple as going for a walk or participating in a sport that you enjoy. During challenging times, it's important to care for yourself and engage in activities that brings you joy and relaxation. Listen to your body's needs will contribute to your overall well-being. Additionally, creating a space in your home that brings you joy can further enhance your feelings of self-care. One powerful way to feel good and experience love is by being generous and helping others. You can donate money to a charity, volunteer your time, or simply engage in conversation with someone who may be feeling lonely. When you know that you've made a positive impact, you naturally feel good, and you may find yourself experiencing love and compassion towards the, the cause or person you've helped. When faced with negativity in your life, it's important not to judge it, but instead approach it with compassion. Observe any negativity you may feel and gently release it, replacing it with feelings of love and peace. Keep your focus on the positive aspects of life, cultivating a mindset that embraces love and gratitude. You can also tap into the emotion of love at any time on demand. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to feel love. If you need assistance, think of something or someone that evokes feelings of love within you. As you experience this feeling, sit with it and try to amplify its intensity. If possible, notice how it uplifts your mood and state of being. To reinforce this feeling of love, actively seek opportunities to experience it throughout your day. Whether it's appreciating the beauty of flowers or replacing jealousy with love for what you desire. These practices align with the law of attraction. By projecting feelings of love and positivity, you attract more opportunities and experiences that align with those emotions. Embracing the law of attraction, living in frequency of love leads to transformative changes in your life. You feel light, happy and whole, experiencing a sense of abundance and fulfillment. By vibrating at the frequency of love, you will attract more love and joy into your life. By implementing these practices, you will truly start to romanticize your life and feel like you're living your best life. You'll develop a genuine love for life itself and learn to appreciate every moment and the positive aspects it brings. Paying attention to the small things will bring you joy and a deeper sense of fulfillment. Moreover, as you align yourself with love, you'll naturally gravitate towards activities that bring you joy and avoid those that don't resonate with you. You may find that your perspective shifts, allowing you to discover love even in things you once disliked, or you may choose to let go of what no longer serves you. To live your best life and experience love for everything, it's crucial to be fully present in the current moment, 
Many people get caught up in thoughts of past or worries about the future, missing out of the richness of the present moment. By cultivating mindfulness and embracing the now, you can fully immerse yourself in the beauty and love that surrounds you. So there we go. That's say little chapter. Funny enough, when reading that out loud, it made me think of being in high school where the teacher calls upon you to like read out a novel or like a page in English class. So that was a really weird throwback. And I think I need to practice that more because I'm not the best at reading out loud. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. All the details will be down below, the link in my bio. So if you read in Kindle, make sure you give it a little pre-order and it will be out on the 16th of August. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm really excited to announce this and it's a pleasure to read to you a little chapter. I've actually never done that before. So whoever's watching this, I guess this is the first. So yay. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week for my back to normal content, being in the countryside, all of that stuff. So I'll see you soon. Bye guys.